what's up guys welcome back to my channel please that is so automatic for me to say right now do what you want okay so you might notice that like the light is a little bit different and the reason is because it's nighttime and I don't need one more excuse not to uh, not to make a video. So, yeah, I'm trying this out. Uh, and I wanted to kind of give like a little bit of an update and just to post a quick video. So, in the last video, I kind of talked about this realization or this thing I had around feeling like I think too much, I'm too much in my head and that I, I had this like encounter with someone who said it again and that I caught it and I just didn't give it the kind of attention or the kind of concern that I normally do and how that changed everything for me. And I kind of wanted to give an update about what I am feeling since then and what is starting to transpire since having that realization and it's basically like I am less interested in my thoughts. Less interested in my thoughts. What I mean is I feel less of a need to pull things apart. So even with this channel, you know, I, yeah, I had filmed something previously and I was looking at that and thinking about uploading that and editing, editing it. And I just thought, it's so complicated. I've made it so complicated. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. It's not that complicated. It's not. And I don't, I don't need to think this through so much. I don't need to consider this from every angle. It's just, I don't need to do this. And so I'm probably not going to post that. Um, but it's just like such a funny phenomenon and, and thinking about this, thinking about this, not too hard, you know, it's a lot about what, to me at least, it seems a lot about what stoicism preaches, to put it that way, which is like, they're very into facing your fears for, to put it in like a really simple term, meaning like they'll actually meditate on the worst case situation they'll think about like they'll get dark okay they'll think about people dying loved ones dying them losing everything they'll they'll meditate on that it's like opposite loa they'll meditate on that and it does a few things first of all it i think it lowers resistance and it puts into clarity what's important that's a huge thing so that when they go back into their lives you know they're appreciative of the people they have. They never lose sight of what they actually have because they imagine the worst case scenario. But I think a big part of it is just like facing your fear, you know, like they look right into the eye of it. And because they're no longer running, there's no longer a need to keep up the, um, to keep up the game. You know what I'm saying? So if I go back to my example, my personal example, and I hope this is useful, like I hope this applies to whatever you're dealing with and you can take this and look at different areas of your life um, within this lens. But it's like, because I was so sure it was a problem that I thought too much, it had me running all kinds of games to fix this problem, okay? Which actually like, activated the overthinking you know what i'm saying because like overthinking was a way of being in which i inhabited and so my solution to that was overthinking you know um <laughs> because that's the tool that i had most at my disposal and the second that i made it all right and i said okay we get to have that 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 thinking of it in that way broke the tool. Do you know what I mean? It broke it because that's not how the tool functions. The tool functions like, no, 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 we gotta solve it, we gotta fix it, we gotta think it, we gotta think it through, we gotta think it through, we gotta, we gotta do this, do this, do this, do this. And by 
by just like stopping and not doing anything with it, I'm actually breaking the habit itself of overthinking. And now that I have like absolute reign to do so, it's just less interesting. It's less compelling. Compelling is a word that I want to do a separate video about this, but compelling I think is like a really good word to use as opposed to preferred, meaning that um, I'm going to get into this in another video, I promise, but it's like compelling is like a different way to think of like what has a stronger pull. So, so often, unfortunately, what has a stronger pull is what's scary to us. It just like feels more visceral. You can have a stronger pull towards the positive, but I think a lot of the times people have a stronger pull towards the negative and they don't even realize it. And so, yeah, like what's, when you actually like look something in the eye and you kind of like see, you just like look at it, it just becomes less scary because nothing in and of itself like is actually as scary as we can make it out to be. It's just like, look in the shadows, people. It's not that scary. Something I was thinking about yesterday, obviously I haven't stopped thinking, okay. <laughs> but something I was thinking about yesterday was like this fear I have that I'm crazy. Or more specifically that people think I'm crazy. That people will think I'm crazy. And I, and I was kind of just like thinking about this and thinking of, trying to think of it like in a really, really like flat way. Like just people think I'm crazy. Like the fear of I'm afraid that people think I'm crazy. And of course, that's like a whole experience of me being in a situation and thinking those people think I'm crazy over there. And, um, you know, like it's completely one-sided actually. Everything is one-sided. I'm really sorry to tell you. Yeah, we haven't figured out body swapping yet. So as much as we can like feel one another, um, yeah, your experience, your, you're experiencing your experience. And that's mostly what people are afraid of. They're afraid of like experiencing something they think is happening. I mean, it could be happening, but this is what I mean. It's like someone thinking something isn't in and of itself very scary. They're just having thoughts in the same way that you have thoughts. It's not actually that scary. And so like someone thinking I'm crazy is like, Okay. And also, you know, no one can think something that you don't, that you don't think. Or, I don't want to get too into this, but again, you're in your experience. So whatever you imagine someone to be thinking is actually what you're imagining. That's on you, babe. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give that uppity, up, 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 uppity date. I wanted to give that uppity date. And to just say like, to not be afraid to, as much as I completely am for just staying true to like the vision that you want for your life and yourself. And I am completely into affirmations and like and positivity and not going down the rabbit hole. I think too, it's incredibly powerful to stay in that place while looking at the thing you're most afraid of and not doing anything about it, not moving a muscle about it. And I also feel like this is what video games are made of or something. This is making me think of Lord of the Rings or something. I'm sure, I'm sure this is in lots of kind of like epic story stories. What am I thinking of that I'm like, this is it. It's that you, you face it down and you don't do anything and it falls away. It falls away because it's just illusion. All right. So I love you so much. I really do. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm now doing email coaching. So if that's something that you're interested in, then uh, look down in the description below and uh, hit me up. You know, go to my website and send me an email. And I would love to find out about what's going on with your life and how I can help you. 
All right. I hope you're having a lovely day, night, wherever in the world you are. And I will see you next video. Bye. Mm -hmm. That's funny. I like walked off stage because I'm so used to using an actual camera.